Our artist today was painting right around 1900s to 1910. Again, 1900s to 1910. What you're looking at is a boxing scene. Now, here's the crazy thing to think about. At this time in the world, the most famous sport, the sport that everyone wanted to see, was actually illegal. So boxing was illegal at this time, yet everyone wanted to see it, everyone gathered for it. So these people would just know where to show up and when to see these boxing matches go down, such as huge abandoned warehouses or down by the shipyards. They would have these boxing matches. If you look at this painting, you'll notice it's probably not the most clean, pristine thing, such as boxing at that time was not the most clean, pristine thing. He wanted to represent this muddiness, this grimy, grungy sport that everyone loved, and he loved as well. He was actually, this artist was a famous, not a famous, but he actually played baseball, Major League Baseball. Uh, he actually boxed, boxed himself. Loved going to these. One of the best things about his paintings are the composition. Your eye keeps moving with the lines and the arms and the legs all around his paintings. He would also paint certain uh, scenes or do drawings of what was going on at the time such as the Enlightenment. This is Billy Sunday, a pastor at that time, trying to scare everyone into religion. He then transitioned with boxing. All of a sudden, boxing became legal. And now you're in these big stages with all these lights, with all these celebrities. Notice the difference of style here. It's quite cleaner, a little more sharp, a little more pristine, just like boxing became. So, he kind of represents that in different ways. His name is George Bellows. George Bellows. Go ahead and write that down. His style is Ashcan School. Ashcan School. Now, it seems weird. Why is it called Ashcan School? That's because when he was displaying his paintings with his buddies, they were trying to represent the urban life, the grunginess of what goes on, not, not in public. People said it looked like an ash can. His paintings look like an ash can. And so they decided to take that name and run with it. They called themselves the ash can school. Think to yourself if you've ever been called a name or someone else has been called a name to be poked fun of, but yet they turn it on that person and they decide, yeah, that is going to be my nickname. They did that. What I also want you to know, one of the most important informations is that the Ashcan School is also known as the Eight. You either can write that in your uh, the styles or write it in the most important information. Ashcan School is also known as the Eight. The Eight. Because there were eight of them. And that's what they called themselves before they were deemed the Ashcan School. What I also want you guys to know, most important thing, he painted boxing scenes. So write that down in the most important information. He painted boxing scenes. He painted boxing scenes. Now, one of the really cool things, for me at least, is that you're going to see this stuff in the media. Uh, I saw this in Sports Illustrated a few years ago when I was teaching. They had this huge article where they had probably five, five or six pages worth of George Bellow boxing scenes. And it's in Sports Illustrated. I thought it was really cool. And so what I decided to do was actually write into Sports Illustrated, you know, just say thanks for providing that, not expecting anything. A few months later, Sports Illustrated came out. I opened the page to the comments section, and there my name was, which is pretty cool. That I wrote into them, uh, they published that. Uh, so technically, I'm in Sports Illustrated, if you want to call it that. I like to pretend that I did make Sports Illustrated. How do we remember this artist? When we look, this is the image I'm going to show you, if I can find it. This image is the one I'm going to show you. There's one rule in boxing that you do not want to do. It is hitting below the belt, or George Bellows. Do not hit Bellows the belt. Here's the action that we do. Do not hit Bellows the belt. So this is George Bellow 
Ashcan School.